Hello and welcome to the video tutorial number 8 of the course How to do an online shop with Freeweaver and PHP This is the second part of how to upload an image So let's try to go a little quickly because this means handling some code that as I told you will be uploaded to my blog blog ayzweb.com in case you don't want to copy the code but it's interesting for you to do it yourself and learn about how it's done let's remember we had a page called image management php which is the one that was called from here when I click on upload image you remember it opened us a window here it just said it's here so here we will do the whole image upload process we will use a pair of PHP functions, a little JavaScript, but very easy, and we will go line by line so that nobody gets confused. We get back to Dreamweaver, and the first thing we're going to do is deleting this. It's here thing, which is useless. We're going to insert the four. I'm going to choose everything. Well, the the, the method will be by post. The type of modification will be at first by default we will see it later or something else I click accept and it generates me a blank form as you can see here I have the red line meaning it's a form the action this form will do is loading this page again we will do everything again in the same page so that it's easier and we don't have several files around so when I click the action button this will take us to itself again the, to the image management PHP just like that with a post method and there is one further detail that is when we're using a form in which we send some kind of binary data such as an image, a PDF file or whatever we use a type of parcel we can see it here in a page next to this from which I copy the code which is this one here the end type is multi-part form data this will enable me to upload images, PDF files, and whatever I want. It's just a type of encryption or, or a type of parcel or form can use, and we have to indicate it in this way. This is to begin with. As you can see, I try to comment on the rarity so that you don't get lost. Anyway, you can find this in almost any data upload form you manage. Next thing we're going to do is adding a field where we will load the graphics initially if you want we are going to add a text field and in type we will choose file so we click on accept it tells us it's a file type the field name will be for example user file and uh, as you can see this field is special she generates a text field for us to write the name of the field and a browse button that will allow us to browse our local hard drive so that we can select the image next thing we're going to do is pressing enter and then generate a button that will be for sending the data as such so we just go form button this is a real submit button which will send the button to the form we can call this button uh, upload image not to have any doubt about what we're going to do with it and that's it we're also going to add a hidden field inside the form for us to know uh, we will understand it in a moment let's pick it up from this page I had around here so that there is no problem we're going to create a hidden field here with this code I will use a hidden type input and I will name it for example uh, send and its value will be form1 still we have named this form and it doesn't really matter we will name it form1 too as you can see here in, in id form it already calls it form1 and we have a hidden field that now we will now see how it works it for but now we're going to execute the page just to check we have done so far and we will see how it works 
I'm going to save. Now I come here and hit the upload image. And now we check everything is okay. Yes. We will get a new window appearing with the thing we have just made. If we hit the browse button, it opens my hard drive and I select the image we want. For example, this one. And it automatically puts it here. As you can see, I cannot write here because it's a field associated to the browse button. The only way to do it is via the browse button, and I repeat it for you to see. And now the blog image button will call to itself. I won't hit it now, I'm going to close this right now. Why will it call to itself? What for? Well, when this file is renamed, it will detect if I have a right here out of a click or I'm here out of another page. The way to detect this is very easy. In Dreamweaver, when we hit Add a Product, it gives us a code like this one. I will explain it now, don't worry. I will leave the code copied so that there is no problem. Let's put it here, for example, the PHP can go wherever you want. As you know, we select all this and we hit for it to generate automatically the marks. And now it makes us a conditional. In some way, it has to detect that what I'm going to do here is when I have already selected the image and I hit the upload image button. The way to do it is when this button of the hidden field has form 1 as a value. So the field name sent. I will tell it sent here and send here. I will tell it set is a function of PHP that tells me if it's um, set or not. Short to say, if that button contains any kind of value. It detects if it has any value and if that value is form 1. As you can see, it coincides with the name here, but I could name it right like, please. Then, if this happens, it means that I enter this page, selected something from here, and hit the upload image button. So, I'm going to close this so that it doesn't give me that PHP error. So, when I'm going to upload an image, what, what do I want not to appear? I don't want this form to appear as such, so I'm going to type an else here. And I'm not going to explain this because it's too easy, and I understand if you are on this stuff, it's because you know what an else is. Okay, if I clicked on the send button and with the value form 1 from this point in the form, it will make me this part here, which is still empty, or else it will show me the form. For us to check if it's step by step, I'm going to save now. I go to the navigator and I hit again upload image. Apparently nothing has happened but it's already executing this and it's saying hey the send button hasn't got any value. So I automatically load this form. Okay, let's move on. The third part we have to see is the the weirdest one, sort to say would be the instruction that copies us the, the image in the server. To do so, I'm going to copy this here. PHP uses a system variable which is files. And, and within files, this user file thing we have sent that matches this name we wrote here and name, what it is going to do is taking the file name, not the whole root where it's located, but just the name of the file with its extension. I'm going to ascribe its variable name file name. Let's just say file name equals files in user file plus the name. It's going to take the name I highlighted here. This name here is a system variable and I named this user file because I wanted to. Next step is taking this present function reset function. I'm going to copy it and paste it here. I'm going to slide this a little so that we can see it all in a single line. What this, what this move upload file does is taking the file we have uploaded and storing it with the same name we wish. So what does this do? You can see here that it says files use file tab name. Tab name is a temporary name, and when I upload the file to a remote server, 
as long as I don't store it anywhere, it's in a kind of a temporary location with a temporary name. This temporary name and location can be defined at the HDA axis of the server, but initially we won't touch that because it's right with the default values. It uses to be a temp folder or something like that. This is coping me or moving me the file I will upload it from here to the place I want. What is the place I want? Do you remember we have created a folder name document with a subfolder name products? So we will write here, well, I almost had it already, double dot dash because we are in the admin folder. Remember that documents folder is in the root. I'm going to put it like this so that it looks clearer. Documents in the root directory and everything I'm going and doing is inside admin. So I have to go up one level. That's the double dot dash and I want it to store it in documents images. Uh, it's not images, it's products. Sorry. Inside there with the file name, we define it previously. This one, file, user and name. Basically this, we have already uploaded the file. Later on, we can add more frills if we want, like auto-closing it, or controlling the maximum size, etc. I'm going to add a semicolon here, because if not, it's giving me an error message all the time. And the last detail we're going to do is a little of JavaScript. Is that when this file is already uploaded, to put automatically the name into the previous form. This is very easy, you will see. I have done it in this example and we just... this piece here. I copy it. Here we are going to write a script. Very easy. That will only execute when it... when it's within this if. So, we close here this PHP. But leave it open for later. We're going to enter a script. We will close here. And in the middle, I'm going to paste what I copied before. This is very easy. Here it's telling me, do you remember the opener? Uh, in this case, it was the screen of add product. It's telling me, out of the opener window, the document that symbolizes the whole page, in the for number one, str image field, I'm, I'm going to delete this. I want the value to equal to the value, we are going to see that here, to the value, this to appear even clearer, I'm going to put this here, I want you to put this value, file name, value file name, that I define as the name of the file I'm uploading, it's clear, from the opener window, the document, the form number one, which is also called form one, if you want we can check that it's called that way, we click here and you see name equals form one ID equals form one as well it's thing is for one thing but we won't get into this now in the field str image I check again the field str image let's look for it here it is right next to the upload image button I want its value to be equal to file name and the next thing I want you to do is to close this window so that when I hit the upload image button the file will upload and when it's uploaded the window will close that fast so with this I think we finish finished by now as I was telling you now we can do many more things with this like controlling when there is a mistake etc but well in order not to make this tutorial too long and complex let's make it simple and the rest if it's worth making a specific tutorial, I will do it. Or else you can look it up on the net, because there are hundreds of examples. So, let's save this, and check if our upload image works. We come here, click upload image, click browse, and now, let's upload this one, for example. We hit upload image, you see, the window has automatically disappeared. It has put me the name of the file I've just uploaded in this field, and theoretically, in the hard drive, in our local drive, if it has done it properly, within the products folder, inside the documents folder, we, we update with F5, you see? It has already uploaded the image. This will happen exactly the same when we upload this to a remote file, remote server, okay. 
we already have our image here so let's upload the test product the name will be for example sleeper the positioning name sleeper as well price will be 10 euro in pair of cheap slippers and the category will be beach for example we reach the product and here apparently nothing has happened but later in the edit field we will see how we can display this image and in chapter 9 we can see how to edit and how to delete as I was telling you I will leave the, you this file name image management PHP in my blog blog ayzweb.com in case you have, may have any kind of problems and well I think that's all I don't want to make this video much longer because it's quite complicated we've entered some code even and as I promised we would enter just a little this was about 80% of the code we will have to type in the page don't be scared it won't be the useful thing and we will use the weaver step next chapter then number nine we will edit the products we will even modify the image and if we have the time we can even see how to delete it so I hope you are enjoying this course so far and whatever comment you have you can add it down here or else in the blog you know I, I reply okay thank you best regards